is pretty typical. Um, I'm very much into my health and wellness. Uh, I believe that that plays a big part of your life. And so I wake up, I have my ginger lemon tea, my coffee, and then I do a workout every morning. After my workout, um, then I get ready to come into work. I think the things that hype me up the most is making sure that I have everything ready and to go for our guests to have an amazing experience. And that is one thing that to me is so important and that I feel that energizes me the most is to have our guests tell us how much they love coming here. My day uh, is a lot different than what it used to look like a number of years ago before we opened the winery. We are gonna be open almost eight years and so I'm very fortunate and blessed to have the managers that I do um, taking care of things out front for me and also in the kitchen. Uh, so my day now typically consists of something more like making sure everything's running smoothly for the winery, uh, making sure my managers have everything that they need to do their job, uh, making sure like our knives are sharpened in the kitchen, making sure we have juice to make the wine that we make, making sure we have the food, making sure our uh, taxes are paid for our wine, you know? Um, just things like that, that I do on a regular basis. Um, go to the bank, making sure all the bills are paid. Uh, it's just um, typical things you would think of as a business owner would do. So the best part of my job is um, definitely our guests. Like I said before, I um, so we're blessed to have a, a great community here in Finley. And I feel as though they really support us and stand behind us. And um, I just love it when our guests come in and tell us that this is their favorite place to be. The worst part of my job, I really think it's, it's a combination of things. Uh, it's a combination of, you know, making sure your guests are happy because sometimes you have them when they aren't happy and having to deal with those issues or uh, having to hire new staff, I think too, as well. My evening routine would be either um, to leave here and go to one of my children's sporting events uh, and then get home with them and kind of make sure they have everything done for the day and see how their day was. Uh, and then, or if we don't have a sporting event, is to go home and then cook dinner for my family and have dinner with my family. I should say God's my number one, family second, and then my work. Um, so I always make sure that family is a priority that I get to go to their events. Um, I have an 18 year old son and a 16 year old daughter and my son just graduated last year, but uh, they both were super active in activities and my daughter still is. So I, those are a lot of what I do after work. Right now, my nightly routine consists of after dinner, you know, reading my book and usually having a glass of wine while I'm reading or um, doing some of my studies with this new course that I'm taking. Depending upon the day, like I said, my days are so different. If that depends upon how successful I feel. Uh, I could have a pile of paperwork stacked up and that was my goal to get done for the day. However, if I am leaving here and I have some guests stop and talk to me and tell me that they love our new food special or they love the cheesecake we have or whatever it might be or that one of my managers is doing an amazing job, uh, that to me is a successful day. Um, just seeing uh, what the winery's become and what my husband and I have built. And I've been choked up again. <laughs> but also with our children. I'm very proud of what we've done with them and I feel as though we've worked really hard and it's very awesome to see all that they're succeeding in what they're doing. If you have a dream or a passion, someone put that there. Some days I question and question like, what am I doing? And you know, those first few years especially. And then I have days that you know, I see the smiles on our guests. I see my managers developing into awesome leaders. I see my kids and um, the work ethic that we have, you know, showed them by having the winery. And um, so I would say if, if you're feeling it, then look into it. It's definitely possible and your dreams can be achieved.